Well, Mark, first of all, welcome to Leasing.com Stadium. How pleased are you to be here? Yeah, very pleased. Um, for me, it's about you know playing football and enjoying my football. Um, obviously, I've come down here over the last few days and met everybody here, and everyone's been brilliant. And you know the facilities um, that, that the club's got as well. Um, it's a club that's probably you know is going in the right direction. You know, something I want to be part of. From your point of view, how did the move come about? Obviously, my contract at Sammy was up. Um, I'd spoke to a few league clubs, um, and then just just made the decision really that um, part time was probably going to be the best way for me because I want to concentrate on not just football, also my coaching and managing side of things. So um, it's just me transitioning into um, life after football, but also you know still enjoying my football. So in, in a way, it's kind of like a double-edged opportunity for you on the playing side and on the coaching side with a view to a future career as well. Yeah, definitely. That's you know the way I've looked at it. Really, um, I, I could have stayed in you know League Two and uh, potentially you know play for the next couple of months at that level. Um, but I just made a decision to you know play part time, obviously at here, um, and then you know concentrate on my coaching as well. You certainly bring a wealth of experience with you. Give us a brief rundown of your career today. Oh, I've, I've had a lot brief. of clubs. Yeah, I've had a lot of clubs. But I started in non-league, really. Um, Prescott Cables in Southport. Um, and then you know moved into the Football League with Morecambe. Um, that was League Two. And then I got sold onto Scunthorpe. It's in the Championship. And then, you know, there's, there's been a, a lot of clubs from there. But, you know, obviously... The, the mainstay one was Sheffield United where mm. um, people probably recognise me a lot more from. Um, we went from League One to the Premier League. Um, we had some you know unbelievable times there, played a great style of football um, and it was brilliant. And then I went over to Holland for a little bit as well, played in, in, in top division in Holland. So yeah, I, I have a, a wealth of experience. So I guess the follow up question to that is how do you plan to use that experience in your new role here at Macclesfield? Yeah, it's, you know, obviously I'm a senior player now um, and all the experiences I've had, I, I can relate that to, you know, especially the younger players that we've got um, and just try and help them out as much as possible on the pitch. Um, but, you know, I'm always learning myself and there'll be things that they, they, they could help me with as well. So, you know, we, we're all in it together and we all want to get promoted out of the division. So, yeah. That, and what would you say in particular you think you can bring to the team on the match day here? Um, my, my qualities uh, on the ball, um, I'm, I'm composed on the ball, I can still go past players um, and I've got an eye for a pass and a goal. I watched your, uh, I watched your interview when you signed for Tramere yeah. uh, where you said that you were a risk take on the ball, do you think yeah. that's still the case? Yeah definitely, you know, that, that, that's always been my game is, is taking risks on the ball. Um, dribbling past players but not always playing the safe pass um, going probably for that killer pass but as time goes on and, you, and you, you develop your game it's not always the killer pass it's you know about keeping the ball and moving it around the pitch and just waiting for the, oppos um, the opposition to open up and obviously at Macclesfield we have quite a bit of competition for places is that something that you'll relish here? Yeah I think it, it's, it's always good to have um, competition for places because obviously if, if, you, if you're in the starting 11 and you, you're guaranteed that that type of thing it's um, you know you can slack off in training and stuff so I think it's always good to have a competition for places. Now you've obviously experienced promotion in your career before and clearly we're embroiled in a battle to get that top spot now and um, how much does that excite you and what do you think the defining factors will be and whether or not we will ultimately be successful? Um, you know obviously teams who are going for the league there's, there's a lot of pressure that comes into it. I, I just think it's th those who can handle the pressure moments th the best, really, and you know keep cool and stick stick to a, a game plan. Uh, whatever the you know the, the, the gaffer says, uh, you know whatever the game plan is, and you know just yeah, just be patient really in the game because I, obviously I know with the with the fans that we have here, um, they, they'll be wanting to see goals and excitement, but. Uh, there'll be times in the games where we do have to be patient and, and break teams down, especially at home. You mentioned the fans, they play an incredibly important role at any level of football, don't they? Especially in the promotion battle. Yeah, definitely. And obviously, with, with the crowds that we're getting, um, especially at home, and even the, the, uh, taken away, they, they play a massive part in it. There'll be no honeymoon period for you, I, I suppose, with Winshaw Town, the visitors tomorrow. 
Um, but I guess in the situation we're in now, there's going to be no easy games, is there? No, definitely not. And regardless if you're playing teams at the top or at the bottom, you know, everyone's got something to play for. And you know, as you get towards the back end of the season, every game's you know a cup final. So I know that's a cliche, but it does become a cup final every one. So you just got to take every game as it comes. You got to train well and. Hopefully you, you go out there and, and execute what we've been told to do. Wish you the best of luck, mate. Cheers, appreciate it.